All right, so we have a brand new metal detecting adventure today. I'm with Mr. Mike of Great Finds. How you doing, guys? And we're on uh, one of your camps. Yeah. And uh, this is a place you come out here and you find a little bit every time, yep. pretty much. It's Fun. Not a ton, but there's there's stuff here. There's quality stuff here, which is better than sometimes quantity. Because, like I said, I found the uh, the sword hanger hook the other day, which could be cavalry or officer. Um, but yeah, and I think. I've had you out here once and you did pretty good, so we'll see. What do you think we'll find today? I don't know. Hopefully some good stuff. Yeah, we'll see. Do you think I'll find a belt buckle today, uh, Mike? Hey, I feel like every time I say that, this will be number four. We were talking about that earlier. I was like, I almost hate to go because you're always, you know, the poor no, belt buckle no. thing, you know, it's and it's right. like, I just feel bad. And but uh, Today I'll need a breastplate. Yeah, big old Virginia breastplate. Yeah, yeah. You never know. <laughs> All right, well, oh it's been kind of turned over. Yeah. And um, so it makes, last time I was here was all corn stock, so it'd be a little nicer. Yeah. Lots of rocks. Looks like a potato field. Yeah. Yeah, it's a potato field. <laughs> the kind that break your teeth. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee it. All right, let's 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 get to it. What do you say? I think we might have a bullet here, hopefully. Hopefully not a false signal like yesterday. Could be a button too. The way it's acting, it's in that clump there. Where you go, Mike? <gasps> what is it? It's in there. Let's hope it's not foil. Ah, oh. oh, dude, it's a modern casing. Is it? I think. I don't know. What is that? It's very treasureful. I think it's a that's a modern fire jacketed bullet. <laughs> All right, that's false the, alarm. Yeah. Can right. I see it? Yep, yep. Yeah. So what we have, if you look, that's the copper jacket on that's a weird. modern bullet. If you look on the inside, you can see that's a little bit of lead. That white color is a lead. So that's called a jacketed bullet. Why very small it just, like that uh hit something okay when i'm flying through the air it was uh, it was it wasn't going straight anymore okay it was tumbling and it hit something gotcha. tree rock all right. All right. human that was a false sounded alarm. good though i mean i listened to it in my machine it yeah <laughs> all right yeah all right man false alarm. Well, next one will be that uh, virginia breastplate yeah. <laughs> nice uh, deep signal here and it didn't sound very good at first but now it's starting to give me some numbers and you can tell it's kind of a bigger target. Now, I am in all metal though, so it's, everything pretty much sounds the same, but it sounds pretty solid to me, and it's jumping up there pretty good now. So I thought we'd go ahead and just dig this together. All right. That's right there. <laughs> Let me set you up. Be right about there, so it's really rocking its feel. I'll dig off to the side a little bit. Hopefully, just kind of pry it out in the dirt. I don't see any rust yet, so that's a good sign. All right, let's see if we got it now. Oh, yeah, it's rust right there. So, basically, what we have here is an iron ring. That's probably like a strap junction that would have been going on you know, a harness for a horse or, well, yeah, probably for a horse. Uh, could be Civil War related, but it could just be farm related. Lots, you know, straps could have straps would have come through here like this and this maybe three of them so it could have been like a three-way strap uh junction but that's what that is being round like that they have a pretty good signal can give you a pretty good signal there's another signal that's worth investigating it's not going to be a bullet but the numbers are kind of jumping up there just kick the loose dirt out of the way all right so it's still buried now we should be, get a better idea of what's in there now ah look it's jumping up there now <laughs> if we can get to it here we go. All right, should be in this loose stuff somewhere. Just kind of a couple different spots. What we'll do is check it with the metal detector, see about where it is. Still in a hole. Still not real happy with the signal. It doesn't know for sure. It sounds uh, good, and then it gets a little bit high sounding. It could be iron. Now, if you notice, we're down to uh, a layer of clay. If you have a ball of clay in the ground, like a little area is just a ball, and the, 
you know, not, and the different type of soils around it, that can actually give you a signal. You can see there's a pretty good line right there where that's nice heavy red clay, orange clay, and turns into soil. So if that's just a localized spot, that can actually give us a signal. That might be what we're hearing. So, go ahead and kick that out of there. So we're still hearing it, see? So that could be what's going on there, but let's go ahead and get the pinpointer out. See if we can get down to down a little closer to it. Yeah, it could be. So that's probably clay there. Still got a ways to go. I'll try to pinpoint her on it. Uh, pinpoint. Let's see, it's gone away. So I'm gonna put you away. I'm gonna dig this hole out, uh, probably another 10 inches deep. And if there's nothing in there, that's what we're hearing is a ball of clay. I'm still working on that clay ball hole because I want to get a picture of what we're what I'm seeing. And you'll notice we have nice dark soil. And this is the plow line right here. Then it just turns into that clay. The whole field isn't like this. I can go over five feet and I won't be hitting that clay like that. So that's what we're hearing is we're hearing the change between where I have it ground balanced on this nice dark soil. That's the you know, machine's ground balanced on this soil. But this clay is close to the surface right here. Uh, so it's going ground balance, ground balance, ground balance. And all of a sudden it's getting that clay, which sounds different. So it's, it's going up or going down the signal. Okay. Now if I ground balance right over this hole, I wouldn't hear that clay anymore. But as soon as I moved over here away from that clay, I started getting false signals again. So that's something you can look out for and you know be aware of when you're metal detecting. The soil can make a big difference and not being properly ground balanced can really mess you up with false signals. All right, I'm gonna take a picture and put you away and we'll go find a bullet or a button, I hope. <laughs> Mike hasn't found anything yet. As soon as he does, he's gonna call us over. This is kind of a uh, big, weird iron thing. And you know, I'm digging iron signals in here because this is a camp, so we don't want to pass over bayonets or muskets or gun tools or artillery shells. But I'm not sure what this is. I suspect it's some type of farm equipment, maybe from, you know, the earlier 1900s. I think it's cast iron, actually. So I don't know if it's, it's something to go into the soil or I have no idea, really kind of doubt that because it's so short but if you know what it is and i always hate to ask you guys but if you know what it is let me know because i have found these before and i really i really don't have a clue other than it's probably agricultural so i think we might have our first bullet at least it's a really good bullet signal i thought we'd go ahead and dig it together again i'm in all metal so everything kind of has the same tone so i'm thinking this is probably going to be something non-ferrous and not a, a little tiny thing it's not going to be like a little tiny piece of can like I've been finding. I think it's going to be something more substantial. Hopefully we got it with that. Let's see. I did move it for sure. Let's see. So, yeah, it's going to be non-fair. You can see it was jumping up into the 50s. But I don't think it's going to be a bullet. I think it's too small. I've been finding a lot of uh, can saw. Uh, let's just do the pinpointer. I think it's up in here. Right in there. Do you see anything good? Oh, that is either a good Civil War button or more likely the bottom of a shotgun shell. I can see a rim right there. That's brass, but I can see it looks like iron on the back. Could be a tin back Confederate button. What do you think? Oh, it's a shotgun shell. Yeah, so that's a 12 gauge shotgun shell base. That's the brass on it. You know, and um, the, what we're seeing in there, the rust is the primer, which is typically steel. And then that's uh, paper that goes around it. That's kind of the red color because the steel's bled out into it. That's uh, just kind of a paper insert there. But that's kind of what a Civil War button can sound like. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I'm going to go find Mike. I think he's walked around the field three times already. <laughs> that's kind of where we started down by that flag. Oh well, I don't think he's found anything yet because he hasn't hollered at me. Now this is a weird looking thing. It has a size of a bullet, but I think it's iron. Looks like it's uh, rusty. Isn't that weird? Probably like a broken bolt or something. God, it looks like a bullet, doesn't it? <laughs> so strange. It's not heavy enough for lead, I don't think. Um, you know, almost kind of reminds me of a bullet worm, but not really because it doesn't have any 
have any uh it doesn't have a screw on it or the teeth that uh, you know you turn around but it's grooved right there it's got like a groove right there man it looks like a bullet but it's iron so there's no way i never made bullets out of iron do you know why because the barrel of the gun would wear out almost immediately because you'd have iron against iron uh, and it would just it would destroy the rifling like after a few shots that's why you have to have softer metal like lead for civil war bullets or you know like modern uh artillery shells and stuff uh will use you know copper uh rotating bands on them and uh you know modern rifles too that they will have copper jackets like i showed you earlier in the video so it's never iron against iron so if you find something like that it's never going to be a bullet like mike was so happy he found an insulator from the railroad then he reached out and picked it up it's plastic. It's plastic. I've never seen a plastic. Sure, it's an insulator, not yeah. something else, Mike. Oh, okay. It's been a replacement. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a plastic. I'd keep it if I were you. I mean, you want? I've never seen. I'll keep it if you don't want it. I, don't want it. I mean, just for like a sample. I've never seen a plastic one. Yeah. Usually they're like really it's pretty glass. They were replacing them here at one yeah. time on this rail line, and they. <laughs> Everything's plastic now, not glass. Yeah, yeah we're, we're doing a little exploring on the, uh, uh, across, uh, across the track on a different part of the farm. It's found a modern bullet. This is a copper jacketed bullet. See the lead's actually corroding and coming through the side right there. That's probably, that's a, definitely a pistol round. Nice little target right here, I do believe. I think that's going to be a crotal bell, like a little sleigh bell. Yes, indeed, that's what she is. Don't know um, exactly how old that's going to be. I don't think it's one of the super old one, but it's definitely a bell. If we clean the dirt out of there, it might still tingling a little bit. That's a pretty good find right there. I'm happy with that. I consider myself not skunked for the day for artifacts. That's always a good place to be. All right, still on the ground. We're only about 10 feet from that where I found that one. You see it yet? Hopefully it's not a can. <laughs> Could be a can. All right, not seeing it. It's, doesn't sound as good, so I'm, I suspect we've moved it. Yeah, it's on the side still. Maybe a little bit deeper. Man, it's big, whatever it is, right in there. All right, so it should be in there. I'm hoping it's not going to be a can. It should be like under that rock, pretty much. See it yet? Oh, no. Big piece of iron. That, my friend, is a big piece of uh, iron. Probably cast iron of some sort. I would guess agricultural. Uh, there might have been a barn or something here where we're at because there's a lot of iron in the ground but they're another copper jacketed bullet so this must have been like a firing range right here i won't show you any more of these but just to let you know that there there are more out here they sound pretty good too being copper jacketed it's a nice heavy brassy thing but i really don't know what it is i don't know if that's hollow or oh that's a valve stem i bet from like an old uh an old tractor, really old tractor or automobile or something. Valve stem for the tire. Really heavy duty though. Just found this little coppery thing. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be like the lid off of a something. You can see it's flat there. At first I thought it was going to be like off of coveralls or something. A snap. And that's probably what it is actually. Some type of snap maybe off of, you know, some bib overalls. Uh, it's just smooth on the front, unfortunately. Uh, it, it's kind of jumpy. Um, all right. Are you ready? Yeah, I think I got a lot. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. I'm kind of letting it. I guess I could probably scrape it now. What do you think? Would you uh, I wouldn't. Let it dry out. I mean, it's longer? up to you, but I, I would let it dry a little yeah, bit more. I'll let it dry a little more. I think it's going to be an American one because yeah. it's kind of got the more of a thicker. Yep. But you never know. I mean, it could be a kg too who knows yeah. all right congratulations yeah, my man yeah, so you got yeah. another good signal there uh it's kind of jumping but i think it's good there's a lot of aluminum right up here because we're close to the room yeah i'm not gonna all right hold my breath all right well okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one mike i'll get back to you all right yeah <laughs> yeah uh, let me know before you clean that off yeah i'll, I'll do get it on camera on all right yeah.
see what we got. Oh, I hate that sound. I'm already seeing a face. Yeah. Something on there. Yeah, I don't like that. It's like a chalk. Uh -huh. nails on a chalkboard. Uh, might have been wrong. Is that looking left? Is that what it looks like to you? Yeah. Definitely looking left. I see Liberty on the a little bit of Liberty coming yeah. through and some stars. Pretty rough shape though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Looks like an earlier one though. Let's get a little bit of mm -hmm. Yeah, at least you can see what it is. It's popping out. Yeah. See I learned that from him. Let's grab a little <laughs> bit of <laughs> facial grease and then Rub it on there. Not too much. <laughs> You've been out sweating all day in the woods. You don't want to really go at it because that'd be too much. But just a little bit. And you can lightly, you can hope the camera's picking it up. But you can see there's stars, Liberty here. And then she's looking to the left. And I see a little bit of her hair in the back. I don't know what that. Let's go ahead and clean off the other side just to see what kind of denomination it is. There's, a, there's an early denomination that'll have like one over 100. That's like a bust, I think. Let's see here. Yeah. It's one cent there. You can see the wreath. I think it's going to be an earlier one. We'll have to get in the car and do some research and see what one it is looking to the left. But there's certain years they look to the right, the matron head, and then they got the classic head. Very nice, Mike. I'm happy, yeah. All right. Let's get out you of did here. good. You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to hit the road. Yep, yep. Jack. <laughs> we're going to check out something else, too, maybe. Yeah. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth.